Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Oh Your breaker God. for tonight's oh show. Oh my God. Likes long walks on the beach, candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey, None are better than this one, the best quarterback in the world. Oh, there Patrick he is. Patrick Mahomes. Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chef. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. Common and Chef here with Alex Telez. Ready for a massive show today, Alex. We have the brand new vault. Only one headliner gone yesterday. We have a Crystal Peyton Manning Bronco Authentic. There's a salute to service Patrick Mahomes and the best thing yet in that vault double AFC West you can get Mahomes and Peyton Manning because Manning is on a Bronco lid. That new practice squad all but the AJ Brown mini helmet out there. We got a Marino flash authentic, Sauce Gardner authentic, Jamar Chase ripped authentic, Ben Roethlisberger ripped authentic. Speaking of doubles, Chase and Ben Roethlisberger, two custom ripped authentics for less than a hundred bucks. Uh, that is insane. Good names left in the diamonds, the jerseys, the can't miss, the one and four. We have college in the room. We have personals. We have everything. I cannot wait to get started, Alex. How are you doing on this awesome Wednesday afternoon? I'm doing good. The break room was crazy yesterday. Me and Colin, I think, had the longest 3 p.m. show we've had so far. You guys almost had to fight us. I, thought I know. You, I thought I, you were about to. We were about to. I was getting ready to Ooh. brawl with Colin. But I decided to go diplomatic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I tried to go Rhaenyra Targaryen. There we go. Uh, there we House go. of the Dragon. Yep. Uh, diplomacy is gone. If you're gonna, the, the war has already begun. The war has begun. Uh, all love here in the break room. Bunch of breaks coming up. We got a one in four single. Uh, we have a strong side jersey. The practice squad double is one spot away. Uh, let me pull up our randomizer and our dice roll. I'll answer those quick questions for the customers in the chat here in a second. Let me get the show set up, guys. Uh, so looking for six or higher three and a two that won't do uh, Let's roll again one and a one that won't do either Alex three and a three though That'll do six on our dice roll for today's program uh, Not many clicks which means we'll get through the breaks just a little bit quicker uh, Let's see what the chase is today's chase item of the show wheel of names uh, so uh, Let's pull this up. Do you have a Headliner mystery box from Alex Meir. It says it looks like he already got one. He got one already. Because he said he got a purple people eater in it. Okay. Uh, so uh, shipping notification. As soon as it gets shipped out, we ship every other day, Alex. Uh, so hopefully that answers your question. I do have our customer service email attached. Uh, that is the best place, Dylan Chapman and Alex Meir, uh, to 
uh, get those questions answered. Yeah, it looks like he got that on Monday. So sometime today, it'll probably get shipped out, hopefully. Yes. So we ship on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Typically, I'm guessing Alex is going to get shipped out probably today. We do get backed up once in a while with how busy the room is. Uh, but you'll definitely get that package. Uh, ask for your address, Dylan Chapman. Email customer service. They'll take care of you. Uh, I can tell you this. Once we get done with our first couple breaks, maybe we can talk to you and figure out um what address we have on file for you but i would definitely say when it comes to the wrong address contact customer service i say this all the time alex uh this is not someone breaking from their basement we have a customer service team uh, they are amazing and they are for issues like this so we can probably look into your question dylan uh but that is only when we're caught up in breaks customer service that are literally you know paid to resolve issues like this so go ahead and email that uh, link that I sent you. Get a hold of customer service. Uh, Alexander Meir, uh, one in four. Uh, you've got all the spots. Let me know what box number you would like for our one in four break. Alexander Meir. And hey, we got a Nashville address for Dylan. Nashville address. That, that I'm looking at. I don't want to say the whole thing, obviously. Yeah. But, you know. Ten from Alex. Perfect. Thank you, Alex. Ten. We do not have 10. Uh, we have 11, 13, 16 through 20, 35 to 37, and 40. So you got to go with the numbers scrolling on the bottom of our ticker here. Uh, 16. All right, 16 we do have. Perfect. Fantasy season coming up, Brandon Keegan. Uh, the only question is, can Brandon Keegan repeat in fantasy uh, it's going to be tough because he first gets to get, get, got to get in the league, right, Alex? Yeah. Uh, that's, we, we typically do that about a week or two before fantasy season. Probably that Labor Day weekend. Yeah, that Labor Day weekend. I, I hate doing fantasy drafts too early mm -hmm. uh, just because injuries happen. So I would say there's quite a bit until that series is coming up. Uh, but the quicker we can get there, the better, right? That's my opinion. Let's go. Show me the money, y'all, says Yarelli. Norelli even has a saying, show me the money. He didn't steal that from Jerry Maguire. It's his original right. uh, original uh, saying there. And we have 108 Thompson. I don't want to give out more, Dylan, but that is the address we have on file for you. Like Alex said, Nashville. Yep. So if you need to edit it, go in there. If you have any more issues, contact customer service. Uh, we do have a lot of breaks to do. Uh, so let's get the party started here in the one and four. We have a challenge flag. Per oh, actually, you, you dragged it over because that was the order it was in, right, Alex? Correct. Yep. Oh, that, my bad. So if you want to switch that. Yep. Uh, Jordan Roberts, we do have your challenge flag personal. Uh, we can do that here as well. All right, first box in the one and four for today. 31 folks already watching, Alex. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we're we're off and running. The vault's going to be the hot series. I picked Manning sick. We're over halfway on both single and double. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, oh, we got a Hall of Fame pitcher, Ooh. a little Bob Boule special in the one and four. Uh, Alexander Mears got all the spots, and he's got himself a Jim Palmer orange Orioles jersey. Uh, Baltimore Orioles, I got to say, it's good to have the Orioles being good again in baseball. Yeah. This is one of the best franchises historically. Uh, got one of the best color schemes. Alexander Mir, Jim Palmer jersey. All right, Alex, that's fantastic. Yeah, Jim Palmer was so good for so long. Uh, 268 career wins, mm -hmm. three-time Cy Young Award winner, three-time World Series champion, six-time All-Star, won four gold gloves, and two-time ERA title. Yeah. So not too shabby. Uh, congrats, uh, Alex. He says, thanks, fellas. You are very welcome, Jim Palmer jersey. Now, do we have any Harry Potter nerds out there? I like Harry Potter, Alex. Yeah, so if same. you're a Harry Potter nerd, uh, we have eight boxes left. There's a Daniel Ratcliffe autograph script. That's really cool. Now, there is a rumor out there. If the Ratcliffe does not go by the end of tonight, we're going to give it to Steven. Oh. So those are the rumors. He is the biggest Harry Potter fan uh, in our break room. I was going to say the biggest HP fan I know, but then my best friend's wife is literally insane so oh, okay okay she she knows all the spells mm -hmm. from every book so uh she does have steven beat nice jersey congrats alex says craig 
Uh, real quick, we have a lot of breaks to do. We have a personal to do. Uh, I just want to make sure everybody sees this real quick, Alex, because this is one of my all-time favorite helmets in break room history, and I want to make sure everybody sees this. Yeah. This Crystal Peyton Manning Bronco helmet, uh, the most MVPs ever, five of them, uh, 55 passing touchdowns, his best season ever with the Broncos. Uh, that thing is crazy, it, man. It's I saw it in the back. I picked it up. It's very heavy. Mm. It's not just like a normal authentic. Like that thing is heavy. I saw it in the back too, Alex, and it looks even better oh, yeah. in person than it does in this video. It is one of the better ones that's been videoed because it like all the crystals like pop on there. It pops. Yeah. Yeah. It really, really pops. Uh, Peyton Manning. Uh, this thing is going to probably get pulled during uh, either our 12 or 3 p.m. show. I'd be surprised if colin or steven get their hands on it yeah. right surprised or those sarovsky what does that mean craig i don't know what that means i'm going to look it up alex i'm going to look it up all right good uh good to know uh jerseys coming up we got the strong side jerseys oh they're like crystal ornaments oh okay they're some type of crystal thing i have no idea i have no idea craig uh, the crystals. I have no idea, uh, but if it, it helps sell the helmet, sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They, they look fancy. Whatever they are, I mean, given that word sounds fancy, Alex, uh, let, sure, let's go with yeah. it, right? They're Omaha crystals. <laughs> Omaha! Omaha! <laughs> uh, we got Andrew Webb, Andrew O'Neill, Scott Rines, Brad uh, Masler, Justin Mendenhall, John McCullough, and Charlie Arvai. Uh, a lot of new customers here. Tom Walsh's Brady was uh, Swarovski. Well, tell Tom Walsh to get this uh, Peyton Manning lid. I know he's got money to spend, Alex, because he got a $300 gift card last night. Oh, there you go. So, Tom Walsh, get your booty in here, man. Uh, we're waiting for you to get that Peyton Manning lid. Uh, no box number. I'll give these guys about 20 seconds, and then we'll go to the wheel to pick out our box number. He says he wants it. Yeah, how badly does he want it? Because he's not here right now, Alex, and he's he might not, miss out. He's not one away in, in the in the double. We've had a recent trend in the break room. Uh, the Tom Brady's, the Patrick Mahomes, they've been coming out in the first five boxes of these series. Uh, second break, Michael Tillis. Uh, you did not win the first break. This is the second break. We have a personal. We have a practice squad double. We've got a lot of stuff coming up. So second break on the way here during our noon show. Good luck, guys. Six times on the way for our divisions. Uh, five and six. All right, Justin Mendenhall up top. He's got the NFC North, the guy that called out the box, 25. Let me get that off the ticker. One in three chance at a Kurt Warner in this Jersey series. Uh, Scott Rines, NFC South. Charlie, NFC East, Andrew Webb, NFC West, Andrew O'Neill in the AFC North. We got John McCullough, AFC South, and then Brad Masler, AFC East, AFC West. So Andrew Webb has a one in three chance at the Kurt Warner here. And he's got it. He's got it. Kurt Warner autographed Cardinals jersey. Uh, he's a two-time league MVP uh, from the you know grocery store to the Super Bowl, as I say. Uh, man, number one all-time in playoff passing yards per game, Alex. Number one all-time in playoff passing touchdowns per game. Uh, the guy played in two Super Bowls with two different teams and really two teams that, uh, you know, the Cardinals especially, I guess, is the example. They have not had a lot of success. No. But when Kurt Warner was there, they were fantastic. There, there were Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Holmes spectacular to play away from winning a championship That's right a uh, big ben by the way in the practice squad guys so hall of fame quarterback to start in the jerseys great job andrew webb uh, on kurt warner sold out while i was entering my gift card says craig well you know craig you snooze you lose right yeah you gotta be quicker than that although craig definitely did not lose last night uh, he had the only headliner in the vault so far. Of course. The Gronk Speed Flex. I mean, that's what Craig does. That's what Craig does. Brakes are hot. Brakes are hot. We might have to call the fire department. All right. Fire department on standby. Burr Ridge Fire Department on standby. It's, 
I mean, I, I don't think we've stopped doing breaks. And uh, we finally stopped at about 10.30, 10.40 last night, but mm -hmm. it was nonstop all last night. You guys were certainly nonstop. Oh, yeah. Uh, we did more than 100 boxes yesterday for How the day, that? Alex. How about that? And it was a terrific day here in the Ultimate Autographs live break room. And we did more than 100. Let's do more than that today. I think we did, I believe, on the dot, 103 boxes. So the goal is to get to at least 105 today, which, you know, given how these guys are partying, it's very realistic. Oh, yeah. And this is the noon show. This is the pre-Tyson crowd. You better believe it. If it's it. this busy pre-Tyson, what's going to happen when Tyson gets in at 3 and 6 p.m.? Uh, look out. Uh, we got a personal Jordan Roberts, uh, challenge flag reps. I'm going to head to our wheel and pick this guy a box number. Looks like uh, we only a handful of these left. Uh, there yeah. is still a Barry Sanders left, Alex. Barry Sanders, Mike Evans, and hopefully he does not get mooned for his first win. Oh, I hope he gets mooned. I'm cheering for the Warren Moon. No <laughs> doubt about that. Uh, let's see. Box four. Uh, I believe the closest is 12, Alex. 12 coming up in the challenge flag rep personal. Uh, then we have some uh, coin toss action. We have a flea flicker. Um, to be honest, we probably could have saved this with how busy we are, but we'll knock it out. It's in here. We'll knock this out. I was definitely thinking for sure if it's a Jersey personal, we'll do that in the order because we have Jersey breaks with multiple people. But we'll knock this out real quick for Jordan. Uh, so we've got ourselves a full-size rep helmet. What do we got here? What do we got? Is it Barry Sanders? Is it Mike Evans? Is it Warren Moon? Oh, my God. What a personal for Jordan. Oh. Barry Sanders. Uh, the beautiful alternate helmet for the Lions. The GOAT running back for me. Ten seasons, ten Pro Bowls. All of them with more than 1,000 rush yards. Former MVP. One of eight guys with 2,000 yards in a season. The great Barry Sanders uh, in our rep helmets. That is how it's done. How about it, Jordan Roberts? Barry Sanders. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, we got Hall of Famers galore here in the break room. Yeah. Uh, how about it, Jordan? I'll put this next to you, Alex. This will be possibly in our hit video. I'm, gu I'm guessing Twist 3R is Jordan Roberts. There you go. Because I am seeing an LFG, baby. Let's go. Jordan. Uh, that That is, I would say, the best headliner in the reps uh, the Barry Sanders. Yeah, yeah, that's the best thing you could have gotten. That's mm -hmm. for sure. So best available. It's not the best helmet in the room currently, though, because we have a Patrick Mahomes, mm -hmm. a Peyton Manning crystal helmet in the vault. Uh, we have a Dan Marino flash. We have Ben Roethlisberger ripped. Uh, but it's it's a nice lid. No doubt about it. Uh, the GOAT running back, Barry Sanders. All right, we got a coin toss double coming up. Coin toss double. Uh, so practice squad, double number one. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers. I made this uh, reference uh, last night with Steven, but if you ever do highway driving, Alex, do you ever put the car on cruise control? I don't feel comfortable with it. You don't feel comfortable? I feel like I'm not in control. Okay, like well, it. <laughs> we got cruise control here in the brakes. Yeah. Uh, so we got Pat Rich. Is, that, is Pat Rich in this one? I don't see you in this one, Pat Rich. Is he in the flea flicker? I Pat is in, in the flea flicker. Yeah, he's in the flea flicker. We do have the practice squad first. Uh, so, Pat, hold those horses. Uh, we will do the flea flicker coming up uh, after this, and I will re-ask for numbers so everyone has a chance, obviously. Uh, Pat's excited. I don't blame him. There's also a Deion Sanders uh, authentic for the Niners in there. He's a big Ooh. Niner fan. Not to mention Nick Bosa. But it is Andrew Devonzo, Michael Tillis, Juan Martel, David Oberta, and Chris Ripka in the coin toss double box. I feel like headliner Robbie standing up right now. Right? Dom does that too. Dom does do that. So, yeah. Let me know, guys. I'll give him about 30 seconds on that number. Those two numbers in the practice squad. All right, I'm going to go to the wheel, Alex. We have a bunch of breaks coming up. Want to uh, get this show flowing. Practice squad out of 30. 
The young bucks stand up, says Craig. Yeah. Uh, that's Robbie's not the youngest guy, though. Tillis wants the wheel. Uh, Alex, we established you're the youngest guy on staff. Uh, Alex Tillez, the youth, the fountain of youth. Uh, 15, which, let's see, we should have 15 in the practice squad. So 15 and one more. Well, let's see here. We do have a buck in the room that is Janssen Tedekumpo in the one and four. Uh, 28. And I think both of these should be on the ticker, Alex. 15 and 28. Patrick Mahomes and Curtis Martin in the practice squad. Uh, I'll keep these guys, keep the randomizer up to get these guys randomized for their spots. Good luck, gentlemen. We're talking about practice here. So, so far, we've done three boxes, and we've had three Hall of Famers, Alex. A baseball Hall of Famer and a pair of football Hall of Famers. That's not bad. Uh, six clicks, Julio Martel. Uh, you've got the NFC North, Julio. Uh, NFC South, we got David Alberta, Chris Ripka, NFC East. Michael Tillis, the NFC West. Andrew Devonzo, AFC North. Julio Martel, AFC South, David Alberta, AFC East, and Andrew Devonzo looking to devise a plan to win in that AFC West. Coin toss, double box. Double the boxes, double the fun in here. Good luck, 15 of 30. Let us see that heat. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Uh, this guy had a great season, more than 4,000 passing yards. Uh, he won the division. He won a playoff game. It's the Bake Show, Baker Mayfield, uh, former Heisman Trophy winning quarterback, number one overall pick, uh, had some ups and downs in Cleveland. But, man, if you listen to any reports about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in that locker room, they love Baker Mayfield, oh, yeah. right? If, if you love your quarterback – that goes a long way towards winning. Mm -hmm. uh, so nice hit there, David Alberta, NFC South, Baker Mayfield. I mean, as of right now, the Browns are deeply regretting that trade. Oh, all those picks, plus you got to pay Deshaun Watson all that money. Yeah, I would rather have Baker Mayfield at this stage uh, than Deshaun Watson. I'm hoping that a former Buccaneer quarterback actually takes over in Cleveland. A little bit of famous Jameis, Alex. Ah, oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Uh, I know Mike Evans is back with him as well. That duo should be uh, really, really good in the NFL this year. Oh, yeah. That's a secondary headliner and a good one, Baker Mayfield. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, won a playoff game. Beat the Eagles. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he did what Tom Brady couldn't do the previous year. That, that is true. Uh, he won a playoff game. Uh, obviously, you know, jokes aside, I'm not comparing him to Tom Brady, but... Brady's last year did not go quite as good, as, at least as far as wins, as Baker Mayfield's first year in Tampa as the starter. So nice hit there, Mr. Alberta. I always think back, and this is maybe not the smartest thing he did, but whenever he stuck that Oklahoma flag on oh, Ohio State's yeah. field. Legendary. That was something else. Something else, Baker Mayfield. You can't say the guy he lacks for confidence. I'll tell you that much. And a confident quarterback typically is better than a less confident quarterback, yeah. right? So I mean, nice hit, Dave. I almost feel like it's almost like a requirement to kind of be like, you got to be a little cocky if you're you a quarterback. you got to be a little cocky, exactly. You can't be a super nice guy. No. Nice guys finish last. Sometimes. Well, I think the nicest quarterback's got to be Kirk Cousins. You like that? <laughs> we just had Kirk Cousins yeah, in our the, diamonds. Yeah, on the Falcons. His autograph is insane. It is very good. Him um, and Daniel Jones. Yeah, incredible autographs. Ooh, ooh, we got a double up, Alex. How about this? David Alberta, my man, NFC South. Luke Keekley. very nice. The Slate Mini, uh, one of the best defensive players of our generation, Alex. Uh, I grew up watching this guy. He was so good. Defensive player of the year, pro bowler times seven. Defensive rookie of the year, led the league in tackles a couple times. Now he'll be in the Hall of Fame very very soon respect the nfc south mm -hmm. put some respect on the south everyone's like i don't want the nfc south and here come uh, some nice hits in the south 
Uh, now, some divisions are a little bit more represented than others. Uh, that, of course, is based on how many great players have been in that division. But there's no such thing as a dead division in our room. There's always good stuff in every division. Uh, case in point, the South times two right there uh, for David Alberta. I would say the NFC South is honestly one of the bigger, like, like fillers. Like, they have really good fillers, like Keekly, Derek Brooks, John Lynch mm -hmm. for some of these series. Which those Rondé are Barber. Rondé Barber, and those are insane fillers. We've had Archie Manning as a Archie filler. Archie Manning, Camara. Yeah, actually, we pulled him last o night. Olave. Pulled him in that last night yep, as well, yep. Alex. Uh, so there you go. Luke! Yeah, that's true, Craig. Uh, no one but me wants the South. Yeah, let's put some respect on the South. Put some respect on the South. Uh, Luke Keekly. You go and tell Luke Keekly that you don't think he's cool enough uh, in the South, and he, he'll tell you. Uh, he'll tell you a thing or two. Uh, all right, Flea Flicker's coming up. Uh, we got the Vault Double, the long-awaited moment. Andrew Webb, Giselle Luster, David Ramey, Pat Rich, and William McPherson. Vault Double number one. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. William M is that William on on Twitch? William McPherson on Twitch? Here we go. He won six and nine. Now, William told us something last night, and I've been thinking about it ever since, because I think it might be worth a play at some point. You know what William McPherson is the best at doing? Boxes. Calling boxes. Even better than Vinny Batani. Remember Vinny Batani, Alex? I do remember. This guy is even better. The biggest Eli Manning fan. The biggest Eli Manning fan. Uh, he makes Vinny Batani look like, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to think what the example would be. Uh, the other Manning that didn't play football when it comes to football Cooper. ability, right? Uh, so trying something different, he says. I'm on Twitch. Uh, so we were talk talking about William McPherson. We were talking about him buying out a whole break because he calls nothing but headliners. Is it worth a shot one time? At least once. Right? Good luck all, especially William. I'm not in to steal it from you. He says, thanks, good luck all. There we go. Uh, vault double box. Now, we've only pulled one headliner so far, Alex, uh, in the vault. Just Gronk. Everything else is left. We have 26 boxes left. 12 total headliners. Nine photoed. All of them are authentic. And we have four vault keys as well. I got some good secondary names, too. Got a lot of good stuff in our vault series. All right, six clicks. This is the one that I think will be the hottest one uh, today, Alex. All right, Andrew Webb in that Peyton Manning and Pat Mahomes spot. Pat Rich, you've got the NFC North. Uh, we got Andrew NFC South, Gisela NFC East, Pat NFC West. Uh, he wants the Deion Sanders and or the Nick Bosa. Uh, we got Andrew AFC North, William McPherson AFC South, David Ramey AFC East, and Andrew Webb in the AFC West. Let's see it. And we got a heavy one, Alex. Ooh. Is it time for an authentic headliner? You said that Manning lid is extra heavy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Like heavier than a speed flex? I think so, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we do have an authentic, that's for sure. I got an authentic lid coming up. Is it a headliner? I'm not seeing crystals, but I am seeing heat. Uh, how about one of the all-time great running backs, Adrian Peterson. Uh, the Viking speed authentic, one of the best standard authentics in the business. Uh, pulled Barry Sanders earlier. I said... Former league MVP running back, one of eight guys thrown for 2,000 yards. This guy did it as well, Adrian Peterson. The last running back to win the MVP in 2012. He's top five all-time in rush yards and rushing touchdowns. Pat Rich, king of the north. King of the north, baby. Adrian Peterson. There you go. Uh, that's awesome, man. Headliner fire. Uh, Pat Rich doing what he does best, taking home headliners. Great running backs just come out of the NFC North. That's it's true. Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, Adrian Peterson. Uh, it is a great spot for all-time great running backs. You notice there's only one team that doesn't have a, a all-time great running back. Who's that? The Packers. Okay. 
Amon Green is their all-time leading yeah. rusher, I'm, and they, they, he he's good, but he's nowhere near these nah, guys. They get plus the quarterbacks. They they get the quarterbacks, <laughs> which is even better, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, but great job, Pat. AP. Pat is here to take it from you, Williams, says Craig Crenshaw. Yeah, he is. Uh, if Pat Rich comes to play, he comes to win. Oh, of course. Comes to win here in the break room. I was wondering where he was last night in the middle of that crazy Jerry Rice chase. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was told he was driving or something. Uh... Uh, we have we have play by plays from these guys like this community has become so good here yeah. that all these guys are friends. And they're like, hey, are you playing the breaks tonight? Nah, I got a road trip. Ah, too bad. Everybody knows what's going on. Well, did we had someone that like pulled over on the side of the highway one time. I oh, think. no, that's happened more than one yeah. time. We've had people, you know, breaking and driving, <laughs> which I do say, you know, break boxes with us all the time. Maybe pull over on the side or wait till you, you yeah. know, stop your road a trip. little pit stop. Uh, but I mean, I guess it's uh, as long as you're safe, but be careful. Thanks, guys, says Pat. Nice hit, Pat, says Chris. Uh, nice indeed. Adrian Peterson, authentic. All right, we got a vault key coming up. Bonus money on the way, uh, along with the helmet. Uh, it's a full-size rep, which is typically the vault keys do come with the rep helmets. Uh, let's see here, Alex. What's in the box? Ooh. This guy's heating up in the room here. Uh, a lot of W's for him the last couple of nights. Uh, and today, this morning, we got Casper the Ghost. Ooh. Hall of Fame 02. The Ghost to the Post, baby. Uh, the Raider full-size helmet. Uh, Andrew Webb, a nice hit on Dave Casper. So, Andrew, you got a gift card as well. Uh, we have Vault Keys A through D available. Let us know. Uh, this is a former Super Bowl champion a pro and a college football Hall of Famer. And I think he was coached by the late, great John Madden. How about that? Uh, so that is not bad. Uh, not bad at all. Five Pro Bowls, four-time first-team All-Pro, one of the best tight ends in the 70s. Congrats, brother, says Ciara. Yes, indeed. It's so hard to buy and frustrating while driving, says Michael Tillis. I bet. I bet. I do drive and watch the show, but I more listen. Yeah. Uh, I more listen. Uh, so good job, Andrew. Good job, Pat. Uh, good break all around. But no Peyton Manning, no Patrick Mahomes. Uh, the big names still remain. Congrats, Andrew, says Craig Crenshaw. Uh, back to the practice squad after this. And then what are we closest on right now, Alex? Oof. The jerseys, which is one away. Jerseys, one away. And then I think we're close on the vault single. Halfway there, four to go. Okay. Double's got a little bit of action. That diamond single, still three away, and is the chase. Okay, let's get that done. I know we have a guy last night entered in the diamond watching with the sun. Wanted to see a diamond box. I told him, tune in at noon tomorrow. You'll see mm -hmm. it. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. Yeah, the diamond is one I was saying yesterday, too. I mean, Justin Jefferson can get doubled up with Sean McCoy. Or Justin Jefferson and Keenan Allen, and then LaShawn McCoy and A.J. Brown. It was so crazy. Like, I'm so used to pulling Keenan Allen on the Chargers. Yep. I marked him as the AFC West. He was on a bear helmet, Alex. I was like, oh, my God. Uh, but it was cool. Uh, yeah. Speed flex last night, uh, Keenan Allen. Uh, so coin toss is coming up. Uh, coin toss, practice squad single. Uh, number one, go ahead and drop me a box number, folks. Andrew O'Neill, Michael Tillis, Andrew Webb, Justin Mendenhall, James Trode, and Alexander Meir in the coin toss. I mean, obviously, all the breaks are good. Everything should be rolling, but it feels like a vault and practice squad oh, yeah. type of day, right? Uh, these two hot breaks and feeling like a vault and practice squad kind of day here today. So drop me a number here. We did fill up the jerseys. Those are coming up. Uh, and then after that, maybe the diamond three to go, probably the vault three to go. The one and four is three to go. Uh, so we are five to go in that vault double. So action across the page, no doubt. All right, Alex Meir wants 10. Uh, 10, Alex, it should be there. Yes, sir. Justin wanted 20, but he was just a little bit late. 
and we'll rock and roll with 10. Imagine getting the Roethlisberger ripped authentic, the Jamar Chase authentic for less than 50 bucks. Uh, that is very much possible in the practice squad. All right, six clicks. Uh, we got Michael Tillis up top in the NFC North, Alexander Meir in the NFC South, Andrew O'Neill, NFC East, Andrew Webb, NFC West, Alexander Meir, AFC North, Alexander, AFC South, James Strode, AFC East, and Justin Mendenhall in the AFC West. Good luck, gentlemen. Coin toss coming up. We've only pulled one headliner in this practice squad, and it was the A.J. Brown Mini. So we have one, two, three, four, five authentic headliners available in this series. Uh, got some sweet jerseys as well. There's a lot of great stuff to see in the practice squad. All right. It's not an authentic or a jersey. It is a mini helmet in this break. Mini helmet coming up. Oh, it's clean. It's fast. It's James Strode with Devon Achan. Oh, yeah. Uh, the awesome running back this last season had more than 200 yards against the Broncos rushing. More than seven yards per carry. Raheem Mostert a little bit older. Uh, this guy's the future of that Dolphin team. I know a lot of folks say... The Dolphins lost some defensive guys, but my goodness, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Devon Achan, that team has speed. That team for me, Alex, is a playoff team. Uh, AFC East, James Strode. Very nice, James. It's my third favorite football team, the Dolphins. Ah. My adopted team. They're fun. Although I'm now a Falcon fan. There you go. It has nothing to do with Craig Crenshaw. It has to do with the stadium experience the stadium prices the stadium parking i've never been to a better sports stadium than mercedes-benz stadium in terms of the way they handle things uh -huh. now parking seven minute walk from the stadium for 25 30 dollars alex oh wow uh food chicken tenders and fries Ooh. basket like with five tenders six bucks Ooh. Uh, so mercedes-benz stadium they get it place to be man Went for that messy game. They even email you all the parking options and exactly how close it is to the stadium. Now, that is nice. Uh, so, yeah. So, I, I'm, a, I'm a Falcon fan just because of uh, how cool that stadium is. Air conditioned as well. Beautiful. Uh, it was very cool. 90 degrees outside. Felt perfect inside. Uh, perfect kind of like these breaks, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, what do we got next? Jerseys? We got a jersey. We got a diamond single and a vault single. All right. Let's go, guys. Uh, 41 people watching. Uh, there is no end in sight when it comes to these orders. Absolutely no end in sight. Uh, strong side jersey next. Jersey single number two. And go ahead and drop me a box number. We got Tyler uh, Fitzhugh. New guy. Welcome, Tyler. Christopher DeLuna. Uh, Lamar Reardon, Tyler Fitzku again, AJ Woburn, and Kenny Gober. We got a lot of new guys or, you know, relatively new or brand new guys in here. Let me know your squads, guys. Let me know how you heard about us. And more importantly, let me know on a box number. Yes. There's only two options, Alex. That is yeah. 24 and 30. Yeah, last box of the series is up right now. Yeah, so we do have a Travis Etienne secondary headliner available in here. Then we'll have some fresh jerseys for you guys after this. Good luck, guys, says Craig Crenshaw. Uh, Craig is just super nice uh, the last couple days to the customers. He's, he's always nice. Uh, he's Craig, Craig. Craig is a nice guy. He always wins. He's always nice. He's a, he's a good guy. I think Kirk Cousins is rubbing off on him already. I think so. He's got that, that impact. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull up the randomizer. I'll randomize between 24 and 30. Whatever the randomizer picks, Alex, is what we are looking to do here. Uh, non-stop break in the first 40 uh, minutes of the show. You guys have done a great job. Now, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Uh, obviously, Alex, if these guys want us to skip the, the lunch break, we are more than happy to do it. Uh, so, got to run to the bank. Overdrafted the account last night, says Michael. Okay. Load back up, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Load back mm -hmm. up. Uh, so, there we go. Celebrating others is how I get my good luck. I garner there my good go. luck, There you says. go. I mean, karma is real. You ask uh, Taylor Swift or 
just the world they'll tell you uh how about box 30 alex box 30 in the jerseys and then box 24 will be the last box in the set then we already have the new jerseys in the room uh we close up the jerseys we will drop these like it's hot just for you common and your good vibes i'm all about good vibes craig uh i try to preach this to you guys i also try to preach it to my girlfriend it doesn't always stick but there's something to be said about good vibes alex oh, of course you put the good vibes out there good things happen uh tyler's got the nfc north and the nfc south uh nfc east belongs to christopher as well as the nfc west tyler afc north uh aj you've got the afc south Kenny in the AFC East and Lamar in the AFC West. 30 of 30 in the jerseys. I mean, we've had so many great jersey fillers. Yesterday, mm -hmm. we had a Darrow Tally Spider-Man jersey. Oh, what is uh, that? It's his 4th of July tomorrow, yeah. baby. Let's celebrate America. How about Randy White on the Cowboy American jersey? Uh, this is beautiful. And it's a stat jersey on top of that. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, 1975 to 1988. We got the Manster, the Super Bowl champion, the co-MVP of the Super Bowl, nine-time Pro Bowler, Hall of Fame 94, NFL 1980s All-Decade Team, and the NFL 100th Anniversary All-Time Team. Patriotic on the 54, Patriotic on the front. Oh, yeah. Uh, Fourth of July is around the corner. This is... Perfect timing. Christopher DeLuna, Randy White jersey. And that means we got Travis Etienne in that last box. Right? That is very nice, says Craig Crenshaw. So get that last box. We'll get a new series in for you guys. I mean, seriously, everyone's looking at the headliner graphic, Alex. I'm looking at all the great hits in all these series, right? Not just the diamonds. Everything is full of awesome stuff. I hope you have one of those in your 4th of July series. So the 4th of July series is uh, a full-size helmet series, yeah. but uh, there will be some fun surprises, Craig. I will say that. We are going to have shows on 4th of July, 12, 3, and 6 the entire day. Uh, so that series will drop at the noon show. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good, like all our series. What it won't have, though, is that Crystal Peyton Manning helmet. Uh, so get that Crystal Peyton Manning helmet in the vault, which is terrific. So where's William Maynard? Tally was great, too, says Craig. Let's go. Perfect timing, says Chris. Uh, load some fun jerseys like that in them, right? Uh, so we do have Jason Sachs. Every headliner in the vault, except for the Adrian Peterson and the Rob Gronkowski. Names like Peyton Manning. Deion Sanders, Patrick Mahomes, C.J. Stroud, Terry Bradshaw, C.D. Lamb, Nick Bosa, Darrell Revis. We still got everything in the practice squad, authentic helmets, Marino, Roethlisberger, Jamar Chase. We have a lot of great stuff. Justin Jefferson, Champ Bailey. I mean, Alex, every break is loaded. Every break is loaded. Michael got the Trevor Lawrence and the Mark Brunel yesterday. A little bit of Jaguar quarterback combo. And congrats, Chris, says Craig. Nice job. Randy White, American jersey. I believe I will be a little bit sad tomorrow, Alex, on the mm. 4th of July. Because I think Joey Chestnut, is yeah. he done or is it one more? I think he's, he's done. Banned. He's banned? He's banned. And he's retiring. No, he's got a... He's got a on Netflix, him and Kobayashi are going 1v1 okay, in a couple so, months. Okay, so I got to watch that. Yeah, that'll be sweet. But yeah, he's banned because he he has like a brand deal with a, a vegan hot dog company. So Nathan's oh. is not letting him compete. Well, they're an opportunity missed. Well, who's going to watch now? Joey Chestnut is 4th of July I, I, hot dog I will not contest. be watching now. It, he is the goat of goats. He is the goat of goats. Passing up Kobayashi. Uh, Diamond is coming up. Diamond single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Yeah. He's going to be in Texas at a U.S. Army base yeah. tomorrow, says Craig. Okay. Probably eating hot dogs. Yeah, he's going <laughs> to compete against some uh, U.S. Army members. Oh, he'll probably smoke them. I mean, it's got to be like a 10v1. That's mm -hmm. the only way you can, you, know, you can really count it. Uh, we got JSWN saying wheel. 
Is that Josh Swanson? Gotta be. Jay Swan, it would only make sense. How did he eat that many hot dogs? I don't know. I actually did a hot dog eating contest with my baseball team when we were in eighth grade. I think I got like second. We had like 30 minutes. Me, me and, and my dad tried to go back and forth with each other. I think I had, I had like eight. See, I had, had nine. You had 10. And the winner in our baseball team was 11. Yeah. I finished second place. And I, I was a lot thinner back then, but, you know, bigger guy myself. Uh, I could only get to nine hot dogs in 30 minutes. He gets like 60 something and 10, Alex. It's not healthy, but it is entertaining. Uh, so that is uh, Josh. He wants box 19 in the diamonds. All right. Shining that, bright like a diamond. Is that what the wheel was? Oh, never mind. I, wheel wheel has not been picked. Uh, Craig wanted 19. He was late. You are correct, Alex. Wheel was first. So diamonds out of 30. 1 to 30 coming up. Let's see what we got here. Then we have a vault single after this. Well, maybe it's Destiny, Alex. It landed on 20. And 19 is the closest, so destiny here. Do they throw up after? They probably do. I don't really want to look it up or know, to be honest. It's not like professionals. I think they just kind of train their stomachs. Like, they're fine. Gosh, I, I've covered, like, you know, a lot of high school sports in my local TV career, Alex. And if you ever cover, like, a state cross-country meet, uh, it's like one-fourth of the people are puking at the end. And it's it's terrible. Uh, not a great, great picture. Craig says they don't, supposedly. Okay. Yeah, they're professionals. Uh, Joshua Swanson. It's like me on uh, Thanksgiving uh, Day. Yeah. I try not to eat the previous day too much, and then you load up. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Josh in the NFC North. Uh, that Justin Jefferson spot in here. Ramel Arias. Uh, I know Steven marked them as new last night because he got an item, but technically it's his first ever break today, Ramel Arias. Uh, Josh Swanson, NFC East. How about Craig Crenshaw? Triple signed Ram helmet in the NFC West. Dickerson, Falk, and Jackson. We got Craig AFC North, AFC South, Kyle AFC East, and Andrew in the AFC West. He says they train their stomachs and then go yep. out to dinner afterwards. Really? They eat dinner after all that? I guess they have all the water, Alex. It's not they're not eating for taste, apparently. So I don't know. Damian Patterson, let's have some fun. Yeah, I was I was waiting for him to say that. What's up, Damian? Ready to have some fun, brother? Is he in the breaks? He closed out the practice squad single. All right, shout out Damian. Yeah, one box left in the jerseys, Travis ETN. Okay. Mr. Patterson. How about an authentic helmet coming up here in the diamonds? Uh, this series is absolute heat. Every single box, headliner or not, Alex, is terrific. Uh, this is the cream of the crop series, as we say. Nothing but headliner-worthy names. And, you know, what's better than a headliner-worthy name, Alex? Three headliner-worthy oh, names. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we got Eric Dickerson, Steven Jackson, Marshall Falk, the Ram triple signed authentic. Uh, it is 39, Steven Jackson. I'm a weatherman right here, Alex, 39. We got Dickerson in the middle. And Marshall, Marshall, Marshall on the end. Uh, three awesome running backs. Obviously, Dickerson, single season rushing record holder. Marshall Falk, former MVP, one of three guys with a thousand yard rushing and receiving. Steven Jackson, top 20 all time in rushing yards, all on one helmet. Craig Crenshaw strikes again. The Rams, triple sign running backs. It is with the theme today, Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, the theme Barry Sanders, yeah. Adrian Peterson. Marshall Falk, Eric Dickerson, arguably four of the top 10 running backs of all time already, yeah. plus a Steven Jackson as well. Great job, Craig Crenshaw. I'm trying to think of what running back we're going to pull next. Right. I mean, the next Jersey series kind of, you know, goes along with this. That's true. It's called um, Ground Game. Ground Game. Makes sense. Uh, so nice, Craig says Chris. Really nice, says James. Sweet hit, Craig says Sean. What's up, James? What's going on, brother? Let's have some fun, Jen, says Damian. Uh, congrats, says Josh. A lot of good stuff here in the UA Live break room. I think we're going to end up pulling the Saquon Barkley ball now. Oh, that makes sense. It does make sense. That's in the practice squad, right? Yep, we got a single. Okay. So that does make sense. Uh, great job, Craig. Ram triple sign running backs. So Craig had a few spots in there, but turned out that those spots 
paid off, right? Yeah, three to go in the uh, vault double. We got Craig, Chris Ripka, Pat Rich. Those three are all in that break. All right. Awesome, awesome. There's Jeffrey Greco hat. I know. I was going to say it's so busy, and Jeffrey's not even here yet. No. Uh, which is crazy. A vault coming up next. The vault single number one. Uh, go ahead and drop me a box number. Then we have coin toss, practice squad single. Like Alex said, a bunch of breaks are really close. And we are just rolling. Ooh, James Strode coming to Chicago. Ooh, shot down. James, come on, visit us, man. Uh, go, go ahead and visit us, James Strode. Uh, so that is why I'm winning no Greco, says Craig. Yeah. Come on in, Jeffrey. Ruin the party. He has not been Greco today. Uh, ruin the party, Jeffrey. Don't let this guy win. Uh, three to go in the vault double, by the way. Uh, vault double, three spots left. So John, Michael, James, Gisela, Chris, and Craig. Uh, that is the vault single. What's up, Robbie? Uh, Robbie's got a cool Lawrence Taylor sounds like. Wheel coming up for Craig. Thank you, Craig. Uh, we will pull up our wheel here in our vault series. Now, this vault, Alex, is 30 boxes, not 35, yep. which means that it's going to go quicker, and it means that the headliner ratios are even better. I would, but I'm with my grandson going to a game. Have to be home tomorrow afternoon for a cookout. Mm. Quick trip. Uh, enjoy the fourth, James. Uh, who do the Cubs have? I know it's the Phillies Phillies. tonight. I think it's the Phillies again tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow again for the Phillies? Uh, so that that's a tough draw. Eight or ten. Uh, eight or ten. Okay, because it landed on nine. Um, this is which one? This is Vault. Yep, so eight or ten. You're correct, Alex. Let me get those two randomized here. I guess it is very American to watch baseball on the 4th of July. Uh, I'll be watching the Copa America, personally. Uh, oh, Messi and Argentina, the quarters. Yeah, that was tough. Tough for Los Americanos. Yeah, they, they should have a new coach incoming. Uh, so if it lands in between the two numbers, uh, I do go to the, to the randomizer. I don't let the guys pick. Uh, 10 is what it picked. Uh, box 10. So, 10 coming up. I'll keep the randomizer up and get you guys set up for your divisions. Craig wanted 8. Chris wanted 10. Let's see which one is right. Oh, Craig was just guessing. Okay. Well, you guessed wrong, Craig. Uh, but better get the L's for the guesses and get the wins and the breaks, right? That's what I always say. And Chris was also guessing. Okay, 50-50 shot. Uh, Chris guessed correctly on 10. It's the Messi number, right? I know Messi is injured. They're saying he might play. He might come off the bench. Uh, so hopefully all is good for Mr. Messi. I thought after the World Cup, he said he was done with international play. No. Nah. nah. He wants to enjoy the fun. He, he's kind of got the pressure off. Yeah. I think had they lost the World Cup, he would have been done. But now it's like there's no pressure anymore. Yeah. You know, he's got his World Cup trophy. He can um, just enjoy it. Unlike Pinaldo. Pinaldo. To miss Aldo the last so. game. See, I like it, Alex. You're, you're making me in a good mood. You know how to make me in a good no, I mean, mood. That's what me and my friends call him Ronaldo. We called him Pinaldo. Pin Pinaldo. That, that's his nickname. Uh, he missed his penalty the last game. Uh, Craig's got the NFC North. James Strode, NFC South. John Fermanski, NFC East. Gisela Luster. What's up, Gisela? Niner gang in the house. We got Nick Bosa and Deion Sanders in the NFC West. Craig Crenshaw, AFC North. Uh, we got Craig AFC South, Chris Ripka AFC East, Michael Tillis. Last night, Michael with one spot got a Jerry Rice speed flex. Oof. Now he wants a Mahomes. Uh, now he wants a Crystal Peyton Manning Bronco lid. Uh, James says, looks like I got here right in time. Pull me something good. Uh -huh. NFC South has been hot, James. It's been a hot spot so far in the break room. Flea Flicker on the way. Box 10 coming up. I call it the messy box. Others might call it the Eli Manning box. Uh, let's see what we got in here. All the headliners out there, but the Peterson and I think the Gronk. Everything else is left. Manning, Mahomes, Stroud, Sanders, Revis, C.D. Lamb is in here, Deion Sanders. Yeah. There's so many big names in the series. I'll take C.J. Stroud, says Craig. There you go. 
Uh, G- so Gibbs could be a filler, Josh Underwood. We don't have any golf right now. Yeah. Yeah, Jameer Gibbs might be a filler. We do have Barry Sanders. Yeah, he got pulled. Uh, this came out in the, our rep personals. Speaking of Lions, uh, as for this helmet here, is this a college lid? No. Oh. That'll be cool. This is a college lid. Uh, we got ourselves Cortland Sutton on SMU. Oh. Mustangs, baby. Uh, the Bronco receiver, Cortland Sutton. So it's the AFC West. Michael Tillis strikes again. Beckett certified on that helmet. I uh, love the SMU lid. Uh, Cortland Sutton. Uh, he was, I think, tied for third in receiving touchdowns last season. Yeah, big red zone. Uh, big red zone. That one catch he made where they had like a completion probability of like one or two percent. Yeah. And that was incredible. So cool helmet, says Craig. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is nice. A little bit of Mustangs in the house. Uh, so Alex tied for fourth in receiving touchdowns. How about that? 13 and 13 for Evans and Hill, 12 for Lamb, and 10 for Cortland Sutton, uh, tied with a bunch of guys. Uh, so nice hit right there. Yeah, th- look, man, you take the win every time, Michael Tillis, especially with one spot. I mean, if you win with one spot and a break, you're definitely getting your money's worth, right? Oh, yeah. Nice pick, says Damian. My Broncos. Uh, cool helmet, says Craig. Uh, yes, very cool indeed. Uh, SMU. Kind of interesting. We just pulled Eric Dickerson, mm-hmm. and up next was an SMU helmet. Ooh, and that makes sense. Makes sense. All right, good job, Michael. He's heating up here in the room. I'm just uh. thinking. Of, I mean, that doubles three spots away. Like someone doubling up a Patrick Mahomes and Peyton Manning. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I mean, those two lids combined are worth more than 3K. I don't even know what that Manning's worth. I don't know. I'm saying more like probably well over 3K. We're lowballing, right, Alex? Yeah. I like to lowball because someone doesn't confuse me of telling our helmets are worth more than what they are. But uh, those two, yeah, we're looking north of 3K for less than 200 bucks. That's that's crazy. And, and that Peyton Manning, I'm not selling that thing. No, that's a PC. No. You get that crystal. You hold on to the bad boy. If, if your wife ever gives you trouble about, you know, what are all these diamond helmets you're buying? Look at tell this. her, honey, I got a crystal for you. Yeah. Peyton Manning. It is beautiful. Practice squad is next. We got a lot of Damian Patterson. Sean Blasco is in here as well. Practice squad single. Sean should have been in the last break. We pulled the Baker Mayfield jersey. Uh, big time Bucks fan in the house. Uh, so go ahead and drop me a box number, guys, for the practice squad. Room is bumping, Alex. Always. Orders coming in hot. A busy, busy noon show. Three left in that vault. Double box. That is coming up here shortly. Uh, Damien wants box 14. All right. Thank you, Damien. Uh, one, four. That'll do. So we'll get 14 off the ticker in the practice squad. The Ernie Banks box. The Steve Grogan box, Alex. The Groganator. Every time I see Damian Patterson, I think of Damon Targaryen now uh, from House of the Dragon. Uh, That guy is nuts. Uh, We got six clicks. We got Sean in the NFC East. Damian, you've got the rest. Box 14 in the practice squad. Thank you, Alex. Oh, this one's a little bit heavy. Yes, it is. Uh, Hefty, hefty here, box 14. Let's see if we have one of those authentic headliners. Is it one of those ripped helmets? I mean, you buy all eight spots or even six or seven. You want to get a headliner to make it your money's worth. And if you get it a full-size authentic in a practice squad, Mm -hmm. you're getting your money's worth. Uh, it's definitely an authentic. It's heavy. I got the authentic bag. Uh, it's probably a headliner. I mean, I guess we'll find out here in a second. It is a headliner. And this one matches the AP. Justin Jefferson. Oh. Uh, Jay Jettas, the speed authentic for the Vikings. Damian Patterson. Beautiful hit right there on Jettas. Uh, that is JSA certified. Actually, no, excuse me. It's Beckett certified. With the QR code, Justin Jefferson. 
Uh, two years ago, when healthy Alex led the league in receiving yards. He was the offensive player of the year, had that insane catch uh, against the Bills, one of the best catchers in football history. And he is number one all time in receiving yards per game. Jerry Rice's record is going to be tough to tough to beat. But if there's one guy that could do it with the 17 games, it's Justin Jefferson. 100 percent. Mm. Damian Patterson. Uh, nice hit. Nice, nice. He says nice indeed. Jay Jettas. Yeah. Let's close up that vault double. We're actually caught up. <sighs> weird. And this feels weird. Doesn't feel right. Alex. Uh, congrats. Damian says Craig. Uh, yes, indeed. Very, very cool on Justin Jefferson. Yeah, it's like one in one a Jefferson and Tyreek Hill for the best receiver in the league. Uh, I can't wait to see, uh, you know, Jefferson with JJ McCarthy. Yeah, because uh, you know I I go back and forth on McCarthy, but uh, you know people say Caleb Williams has a good spot. I'd rather be in McCarthy's spot. I agree with, with that because with he this has guy in Addison. That I mean, he's got the best of the wide receiver. Yes. And then he's got an offensive head coach. That yeah, helps he out a lot. No matter what throughout his whole career, that coach isn't leaving. Mm-hmm. If they're good. Right. Obviously. Yeah. So he should be set up for immediate success. Uh, yes, Craig, you have two spots. Craig has two spots in the vault double. Uh, let's get it done. A vault double maybe coming up next. Uh, we are finally caught up. Could take a brief breather, uh, but not for long. Three spots to go in this vault double. We have done, let's see, one double and how many singles in the vault? Ooh, I think just, just one, one, single. one single. Okay, so three boxes down in the vault, which puts us at 23 left in the series. And we have, I think it's eight photo headliners, Deion Sanders, Peyton Manning, C.G. Lamb, Nick Bosa, C.J. Stroud, Darrell Revis, Patrick Mahomes, and Terry Bradshaw. So, obviously, you have the Manning and Mahomes double up in the West. We have the Bosa and Deion Sanders double up in the other West, the NFC West. Uh, so, uh, in case you just tuned in, this is the uh, incredible Crystal Peyton Manning Bronco Authentic we're talking about. And then we have the Patrick Mahomes salute to service with the visor as well. Uh, so, that thing looks clean. Uh, we got four vault keys left. There's a Willie McGinnis. Uh, David Montgomery, Kenneth Walker the third as well. Uh, we have an abundance of great stuff. So 23 boxes left, Alex. Eight photo headliners. Better than a one in three chance at a photo headliner. If we count the four vault keys, uh, put the set at 12 and 23 chance. Then we factor in the three secondary headliners. That's a 15 and 23 chance at a main headliner, a secondary headliner, or a vault key. Uh, and I mean... We always talk about quarterbacks. They hold the most value. Mahomes is the second most expensive autograph behind Brady. Uh, C.J. Stroud is a young quarterback. Peyton Manning is a quarterback. Terry Bradshaw is a quarterback. I mean, we got Hall of Famers galore. You know, think of it, you know, 8 and 23 chance at a headliner. Think of it a 4 and 23 chance at a quarterback headliner, yeah. right? Uh, so a lot of goodies in here. Uh, this should be the hot break tonight, uh, this afternoon, the whole day. Uh, let's get this vault done. Uh, we've never had a helmet like that, Peyton Manning. Never. The crystal helmet. Uh, it is truly unique. I think last Wednesday, Alex, we had our first Michael Jordan basketball in the we room. Did. Today we had this insane Manning crystal lid. I mean, there's unique stuff coming out every single day here at Ultimate Autographs. Fresh stuff. Uh, the breaks only keep getting better and better. As Craig Crenshaw put it, I keep getting pulled back in. Yeah. That's what he said yesterday. Uh, so, I mean, I don't blame him, right? With the stuff we have in this room, uh, I could not blame him one bit. So, let's get in there. I'll drop that link in, the vault double. Uh, three spots left. And let's see, Alex, what else should I drop some links in? Stuff that we think should fill up this program. I mean, I'll drop in the practice squad. I know it's open right now. Yeah. Uh, but I would say the practice squad, the single and the double uh, should be happening again. I'll start with the double box practice squad link. Uh, I mean, a lot of goodies in here. Uh, we're looking at the practice squad, 46 bucks in the single, 92 in the double. We have the Manning and we have the Mahomes double up. How about the Jamar Chase and the Ben Roethlisberger ripped 
helmet double up in the practice squad. The Jordan Love with the Monsters of the Midway Bear jersey. Uh, we got the uh, insane uh, Dan Marino flash. You can double up with the Sauce Gardner mm -hmm. slate in the AFC East. Uh, we got Deion Sanders and Saquon Barkley in the NFC East. Uh, we've pulled only two headliners now, right? Jefferson came out of this one. Yes. So Jettas and A.J. Brown, everything else is left. Uh, look at this Jamar Chase helmet, man. This thing is is pretty nuts. Uh, we got the orange rip, the orange visor, uh, top five receiver in the league. Uh, that helmet is super duper clean. And then how about this? Burr Ridge, Illinois on this one. Ooh. Have you been doing that? I have not. I don't know. Okay. That. I don't know where that came from, cool, but though. that looks cool. Uh, so Big Ben Roethlisberger on the ripped flash authentic with the visor. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks of all time, Ben Roethlisberger. So that, uh, by the way, practice squad, like the vault, only 30 boxes. Not 35, Alex. 30 boxes in both, which means these will go quick. Just realized, uh, I don't think we ever did Andrew Webb's vault key. Oh, we never did Andrew's vault key? We got four still here, and I know he got one. Well, I apologize. My bad, Andrew. Uh, are you out there, Andrew Webb? I think that's why. He didn't say anything. Yeah, Dave Casper is what he won. Yep. So I'll give Andrew about 30 seconds in a vault key. Otherwise, I will randomly pick one. Thank you. Good catch, Alex. Don't want to short the man of his money. I was looking at the gift cards like, wait, we didn't do that. Yeah, Andrew Webb got the Dave Casper plus the vault key. So we got A through D available. I mean, A for Andrew, perhaps. Ah. I don't know. I'll get him pulled up here. A, B, C, D. All right, I'm going to randomize for him. We got six clicks. How about B? B coming up. So B will be the bonus gift card for Andrew Webb. Uh, more money, less problems coming up for him. A lot of cool authentic helmets, Alex, yeah. but no speed flexes yet. Not yet. No speed flexes. Everybody wants the speed flexes. Uh, we have them available across the break room. Uh, so definitely, let's get some of those headliners. We actually have... We actually don't have that many speed flexes now, but we have a lot of the custom lids, right? Mm -hmm. The Peyton Manning crystal. And we have the Ben Roethlisberger ripped. Uh, we have ourselves the Mahomes salute to service. Yep. Uh, so a lot of the top dogs still out there. All right, Andrew, how about some bonus money? $100, sir. $100 gift card uh, headed for Andrew. More money to spend in the break room. Imagine if he puts this into a practice squad double. Yep. Uh, and he gets the Big Ben uh, and the Jamar Chase. Uh, that would be hashtag money well spent. So who's going to get this next vault? I don't know, Alex. I, I see speed flexes quite a bit. I never want to devalue a speed flex because it is the most valuable helmet. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, even without this being a speed flex, because it's unique, right? We have a lot exactly. of chromes. We have a lot of hydros. If we saw this as often as, as a speed flex, I don't know what's better. But given we don't see this like ever in the room. It's the top five helmet we've ever had. This is better than a speed flex. Yeah. This is agree. better than a speed flex. Not even just the helmet. Like, look at the player name. That's yeah. Peyton Manning. Peyton Crystal. Manning. It does have a little Super Bowl 50 on the back. Yeah, it does. Uh, beautiful, beautiful lid, Peyton Manning. Uh, two time Super Bowl champion, five time MVP, uh, Crystal Helmet. That thing is nuts. And Peyton Manning's one of those guys that everybody knows. Yeah. If you Even if you don't know football, you know Peyton Manning. You know Peyton Manning. SNL, we have these, you know, Jingo commercials, State Farm. Yep. Now, he's got his hands in everything, by the way. Uh, that Netflix quarterback series, mm -hmm. producer on it. That golden memorabilia show, producer on it, Alex. Peyton Manning is literally everywhere. He's like the Roy Kent of football, Peyton Manning. I want to see a broadcast team that has Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. Ooh. Just talking shop, talking Ooh. football. That's a broadcast yeah. I would listen to. Maybe have like a three-man broadcast, right? We have we, st we still want to have the play-by-play -play guy. Then have Brady and Manning going back and forth about football. Because arguably, 
the two most knowledgeable football players ever, Manning and Brady. Yeah. Uh, don't have, you know, uh, the arm ability of a guy, say, like Patrick Mahomes, who, by the way, is also very smart, very yes, underrated is. part of his game. Uh, but, you know, which is crazy, because when it's all said and done, Alex, we're talking about arguably two of the top three quarterbacks of all time, Mahomes and Manning, available in this series. Would you agree with that? Where are you putting Manning and Mahomes on your top quarterbacks ever? Uh, I would. I think Manning three or four, and Mahomes is two yeah. or one. That's it. That's the Mount Rushmore. Uh, so I just sold some Bitcoin, says Michael, but I don't think it goes straight to the account, so I still got to go to the bank. Okay. Well, good. Good, Michael. There you go. Uh, there we go, baby. Uh, go to the bank, refresh. I would say hurry up, though, because mm -hmm. uh, this Manning lid, this Mahomes lid, uh, they probably will not be out there for long. I guess I can give a top-to-bottom rundown. We are caught up. We have not given a top-to-bottom rundown, so I'll kind of go through all the breaks and all the names available for all our customers. So I'll start with that practice squad. Real quick, Alex, we did one double and two singles in the practice squad. So four boxes down uh, puts us at 23 boxes left in the practice squad. 23 boxes left. We have a Dan Marino, Flash Authentic, Hall of Fame quarterback. All these records Mahomes is breaking. First two, this amount of yards, this amount of touchdowns. Those are Marino's records he's breaking. Saquon Barkley uh, on the Eagles football. That is nice and fresh. Uh, we got Jordan Love jersey uh, with that beautiful heart. The Monsters of the Midway, Bear Hall of Fame linebackers, uh, Butkus, Singletary, and Erlacher, Primetime on the jersey. Uh, we got a Jamar Chase ripped authentic. Uh, ben Roethlisberger ripped authentic. Uh, some awesome AFC North stuff. So then Champ Bailey with the 12-time Pro Bowl inscription. Most ever by a corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine photoed headliners uh, in the final 23 boxes in the practice squad. Uh, so that is nine headliners. Plus we have two secondary. Keenan Allen and Chad Johnson putting us at an 11 and 23 chance. Almost 50% at a headliner in the practice squad. Uh, the vault, kind of similar. Two spots left. Went over this just a little while ago. Uh, but we have, I think it's also 23 boxes left in the vault. Uh, we have eight photo headliners. Uh, a lot of potential to double up. Some of the best quarterbacks ever. Peyton Manning, Patrick Mahomes. We got one of the best current quarterbacks now as well. CJ Stroud. Hall of Fame quarterback, Terry Bradshaw. Uh, we got two of the best corners ever, Deion Sanders and Darrell Revis. C.D. Lamb, a lot of Cowboy fans in the room, uh, second in the league in receiving yards last year, autograph helmet only rising in value uh, in that vault. Nick Bosa, defensive player of the year a couple years ago, uh, a lot of goodies in here, plus three vault keys, plus some secondary headliners, uh, better than a 50% chance at a photoed secondary headliner or a vault key. Again, 172, double up with Manning and Mahomes. Uh, those two lids together, um, estimating worth more than $3,000 combined. Uh, one in four, three spots left. We're down to eight boxes left. We have that sick Giannis license jersey. The color scheme on that thing looks ridiculous. Uh, the two-time league MVP. We got a Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix uh script autographed by daniel ratcliffe uh that is something we've never seen in the break room before uh we got eight to go in the practice squad single six to go in the diamond double we're down to 10 boxes left in the diamonds justin jefferson on the lunar authentic one of the best wideouts aj brown top five receiver in the league the last couple of years on the flash authentic we got keenan allen bear down baby and shady mccoy in here uh, last couple of Diamond Series, Alex, I pulled an Andy Reid filler Ooh. authentic. I pulled a Mark Andrews filler authentic. I pulled a Jim Kelly filler authentic. Uh, you know, everything is good in the Diamonds. Uh, college break, 11 boxes left, six headliners left. Better than 50% chance. We have the uh, C.D. Lamb OU authentic, Boomer Sooner. We have the helmet I really want to see, Alex, that Erlacher 
uh, New Mexico Lobo lid. Oh, yeah. And that thing looks clean. Pro and college football Hall of Famer. This guy played literally a million positions in college. Like everything. Like he yeah. was receiver, tight end, kick and punt returner, linebacker, safety, whatever coach needed him to do, or Lacker was doing it. Uh, Puka Nakua, the record breaking rookie receiver from last year on the BYU lid. And then we got Jason Witten on that Tennessee lid uh, with the orange ink, one of the best tight ends ever. Uh, do have some secondary headliners in here. The guy that played more games as a starting quarterback in college than anyone ever, Bo Nix. Uh, Roquan Smith, former Bear in here as well. I uh, got some great ratios in that college. Four to go in the one and four. Eight to go in the vault single. Can't miss. We're down to five boxes left. Two and five chance at a headliner. Maybe the best receiver in the league, Justin Jefferson. Certainly one or two. Maybe the best corner in the league, Sauce Gardner, still available. Uh, we got ourselves six to go in the single, six to go in the college single, eight to go in the last jersey break. Uh, that features a secondary Travis Etienne in the final box in the jerseys. William McPherson just closed the vault. Thank you, sir, William. Uh, vault double, right? Yes. A vault double, number two. Go ahead and drop me two box numbers, guys. Double the boxes, double the fun in our vault. He wants 20 and 23. All right, sounds great. 20 and 23 coming up. We got Barry Sanders and Michael Jordan boxes. So it'll be 18 and 19, and then 21 and 22 here. Thank you, William McPherson. Let's kick up that next round of vaults. Because uh, we're about to be at 20 boxes or less here in a couple of breaks. Uh, you know, at 15 or 20 boxes, Alex, it really starts to fly. And my advice, guys, is get in the vault now. Because, you know, Jeffrey gets in here. He's going to buy four to five spots. Uh, we get Tyson Muse buying out all the spots. Get in while you still have a chance here in the vault to get these six sick headliners. Let me get a quick drink. I'll randomize you guys for the double box. We'll go to about 2 o'clock, give or take Alex. Uh, obviously, uh, if the room is still busy, we'll keep going. Uh, definitely want to keep the party rolling. It was pretty much nonstop until about 12.50. It has finally slowed down a little bit here the last 30 minutes, but there is plenty of time to pick it right back up, right? Of course. Plenty of time, folks. Plenty of time to make those moves. All right, six clicks. Good luck, guys. All right, Pat Rich, you've got the NFC North looking to be king of the North. NFC South is Craig Crenshaw. Chris Ripka, NFC East, William McPherson. Uh, NFC West, AFC North. NFC West, Bosa and Sanders. Not a bad yeah. spot. James Strode, Steeler fan of the AFC North. Could get a Terry Bradshaw authentic. Chris Ripka, AFC East. Actually, excuse me, I, I lied. James has the AFC South. But William could get the Bradshaw authentic. Could. James could get the CJ Stroud, though, so that's not bad either. No. Chris Ripka, AFC East. And would you look at the guy that never seems to lose? Craig Crenshaw has the Manning and Mahomes spot Ooh, in the AFC West. Craig. Craig, 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 Craig. Is it your time, baby? Uh, we do know that William McPherson is notorious for calling headliners, especially notorious for calling them for Craig Crenshaw. Mm -hmm. So is it time for Mahomes? Is it time for Peyton Manning? Is it time for primetime? CJ Stroud. There are so many big names in the series. It's actually none of those guys, but it is a headliner. It is a beautiful helmet. Put this one on an island. Ooh. Darrell Revis. Revis Island with the, I believe, number 24 on that one. Played, he was number 24. Uh, this is a guy that teams would not target, right? No. They were afraid of this guy because you put this man one-on-one -on -one against the receiver, he's winning most of those matchups. One-on-one, -on -one, the receiver should win most of the time. In his case, it was flipped. Uh, beautiful, beautiful lid. I think this might be... A flat black lid. I like it. Alex. Uh, definitely very clean. Beckett certified. 
Chris Ripka, Darrell Rivas Authentic. Beautiful helmet, says Craig Crenshaw. I could not agree more. Darrell Rivas. Oh, he's in. Jeffrey Greco. Oh, boy. Now they see they missed their chance. They missed their chance. Jeffrey comes to party. Shut it down, baby. Uh, shut it down. Did I drop my pen somewhere? On the side of the keyboard? Maybe. Oh, there it is. Good call, Alex. Good call. Let me guess. You got in the, the vault. Of course. Four spots? Two spots. Two spots. Okay. He'll probably get two more later on, I'm right? I'm sure. I'm sure. Is that the double he's in? Of course. So six to go in the next six one? Six to go in the next double. I'm All sure right. Craig will get a few. Some of these other guys will. <laughs> oh, Craig, Craig is afraid. He is afraid. He is a terrified. You know, Craig is one of those guys that doesn't fully listen to me because I tell him, you can't be afraid, Craig. You got to bring that positive energy. Um, it's no good to be afraid of Jeffrey Greco. But he's not in the practice squad yet. So maybe get in there, Craig. Yeah, in 2009, Darrell Rivas had a crazy season where he locked down Andre Johnson, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens, Steve Smith at the time, Rodney White, Reggie Wayne, Ocho Cinco, all those guys under 40 yards. Zero catches, zero yards for Chad for, yeah. Johnson. Yep. Randy Moss, four, four catches, for, 24 yards. Yep. It, it's an insane stat like that he had where he locked down all these guys. One catch for five yards for Steve Smith. The Randy Moss was in two games, too. Oh, two games. Two games, four catches, 24 yards versus Rivas. So Moss averaged 12 yards a game. <laughs> T.O. was twice as well. That was T.O. on the Bills. Oh. I yeah. mean, he was just locking down Still, everybody. Man, that's 13 yards. <laughs> that's, what is that, 6.5 yards a game? Yeah. Six, seven yards, whatever. That is crazy. I mean, there's eight wide receivers on this. I think it barely reaches over 100 yards. <laughs> that's eight receivers and probably what six hall of famers at least yeah and i mean rodney white and marcus colson at that time phenomenal they were really good at the yeah. time right i mean <laughs> reggie wayne steve smith andre yep. johnson randy moss to hall of fame worthy no doubt no he was a monster yeah i would not want to face terrell revis box 23 is next 23 of 30 do we have another great corner Deion sanders in this next one uh, do we have the C.J. Stroud, by the way? That's another one that's kind of just flying under the radar, C.J. Right? Stroud. Or is Craig going to gonna snag the Mahomes or the mm. Peyton Manning here? I mean, that's, that is what Craig does. That's what the man does. W's left and right. Let's see here. We got a headliner. We got a headliner. Of course. And this time he called it for himself. Of course. William McPherson, Terry Bradshaw, the sick lunar authentic Terry Bradshaw, four-time Super Bowl champ, former league MVP, Super Bowl MVP, and one of the best quarterbacks ever, movie star, now obviously a Fox football guy, Terry Bradshaw, very, very clean, William McPherson. I mean, why aren't you just buying out a break, William? What are you doing? Come on, William. Uh, the headliner master strikes again. Uh, Bradshaw. I mean, it's insane. It, he really, he is the goat at this. Yeah. He calls out numbers. I don't know what these feelings are, but I don't know. If you have some lotto numbers, William, let me know. Yeah. Let yeah. me know. And I promise you, I'm going to invest some of it into our break room. I'll get you some cool Washington lids. Yeah, you got a lottery number, some stocks. Just you yeah, know, let me know. Let, let me know. us know. Some bets. I mean, he, you name he, it. See, he sees the future. He does. Uh, he's like uh, Helena, the daughter yep. in Game of Thrones yep. with her visions. She's, she's worried about the rats. Uh, she's worried about the rats. Uh, William, uh, he sees the future, apparently. Two headliners, says William, got one this time, right? One for you, one for Chris. Now, one headliner with two spots. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Not at all. Uh, not bad. Less than 400 bucks. This Bratz are authentic. Obviously worth more than that. Uh, nice job, William McPherson, Terry Bradshaw. So two headliners gone, mm -hmm. but the two best headliners in the series still out there, Manning oh, yeah. and Mahomes. And, you know, you can argue Gronk on a speed flex, maybe number three. But after that, C.J. Stroud, Deion Sanders, C.D. Lamb. Probably basically four of the top five headliners in the series still available, in my opinion, right? Yeah. Uh, so a lot of good stuff to get in here. Uh, let's jump right back in. Uh, let's jump right back in. 
Uh, let's see some more awesome lids in the break room today. Only got four spots to go in the next vault double. So here's that link. Uh, and if you are just tuning in right now, uh, I promise you guys this. Uh, this Manning and Mahomes will not be a, around long, Alex. No. It is fully possible we pull them in the very next break. Uh, but I would say by the time the 6 p.m. show rolls around, the only way the vault series is left is the classic, you know, four or five boxes left, no headliners, or maybe like one lesser headliner. But Manning and Mahomes will not be left for the 6 p.m. I show. mean, even if we just get to under 15 boxes, the series is just going to sell out anyway with those two still there because you could double up with them. That's what's insane. Yeah. You can still double up with Sanders and Bosa as well. Uh, so there's there's an abundance of options in here. It's not very often, I would say, in a series that you can double up with the two best helmets. Yes. Manning it's, and Mahomes yeah, both. Yeah, it's a little more rare, I it's, would say. It's not only just the two best helmets. It's quarterbacks. Exactly. And all-time great quarterbacks. Yep. I mean, we're talking about, uh, you know, Peyton and Peyton Manning, probably by all accounts and purposes, Alex, we're talking about probably the best regular season quarterback ever. He's got five MVPs, and that's a record even Mahomes has struggled to get. He's got two right now. We always talk about can Mahomes get seven rings to Brady? Can Mahomes get five MVPs to match uh, Mr. Manning? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great point. I think he might get it, but we'll see. It is a, a, a thing called voter fatigue, right? Mm -hmm. That is very, very tough. So speaking of a guy that can get an MVP, C.J. Stroud, yep. he might steal an MVP from Mahomes. We always talk about put your quarterback in a good situation to see it right away. Mahomes certainly entered a good spot with the Chiefs. C.J. Stroud, he's got a great spot. He Diggs, does. Tank Dow, Nico Collins. Props to the Texans for kind of flipping that all around. You had the Sean Watson, you were making the playoffs, and then all of a sudden everything, you know, goes to crap. And now, look, you got C.J. Stroud, a great young team. <sighs> Might be a little bit of karma involved there, right? I, they didn't tank. Yeah, you, you didn't tank, which I agree. They got tanked out, though. They so did they get tanked out. They tanked in a way. They tanked to get tanked. Uh, but uh, I would argue that there's some good karma there. You know, getting rid of Deshaun Watson, not tanking, uh, putting some positive mojo. I mean, mm -hmm. they had a, a super nice man and a really good football coach, Lovey Smith. Yeah. Uh, you know, we love him here in Chicago. Uh, I'm sure they love him in Houston as well. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lovey Smith. They, they didn't think so at the time, but he no. did them a favor. They went for two and the win and got themselves the second pick, which ended up being even better than the first pick. Yep. And I like Bryce Young. Bryce Young is going to be really good. But I think if they had a redraft, I think Carolina would take CJ Stroud as well. Yep. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that was a rep, the SMU helmet. Full size rep, Michael Tillis. Full size rep. So. Uh, that vault is four to go real quick. I just want to keep looking at this, Alex, because I'm in awe. This is the Peyton Manning helmet we're talking about. It's not just a standard Manning authentic. It's a crystal Manning authentic. I mean, I got to think like the, those crystals on that lid. Crystals are expensive, Alex. Yeah. Just the crystals alone uh, might be worth more than the rest of the helmet. I mean, we say three to four hundred bucks for a helmet unautographed. You look at the autograph, you look at the crystals, they're all probably in that range in value. Uh, so awesome, awesome lid in the vault. Michael's going to the bank. He can't take it. Okay. So he's going to get some money in the bank, get there this figured go. out, and he'll be right back in. Four to go in the vault double. Three to go in that one and four double. Five to go in the practice squad single. Again, guys, again. Almost everything is left in the practice squad. We pulled the A.J. Brown and the Justin Jefferson, all these other lids, very, very much available. We have a, I mean, you said it, Alex. It's not often that you can double up with the two best helmets in the series, Mahomes and Manning. Arguably, now some will argue Marino, and that's a good argument to have, but these are custom-ripped helmets. You can make the case that Jamar Chase and Big Ben are the two best helmets in this series. Double up for less than 100 bucks. Yeah. Jamar Chase and Ben Roethlisberger. That's that's wild. That is absolutely wild in the practice squad double up potential. So those are the two breaks. I'm pretty positive will happen this program. 
Uh, I'll drop that vault double link in, four to go. And I will drop in the practice squad single, five to go. Obviously, we know this very well. We have multiple guys in here that buy out entire breaks themselves. Oh, yeah. So really, every break is in danger at every moment. But these two will be on to at least 2 o'clock, Alex. These two will happen uh, by 2 o'clock. 100%. For sure. Uh, for sure. I mean, 1 and 4 is 3 to go in both. So we'd love to knock out a couple 1 and 4s as well. And do not forget the diamonds are the chase today. Looks like practice squad's getting some action, huh? Yeah. Jordan right. Roberts, I noticed you did use two different emails. If you want to sign up for our signature club, don't uh, forget to do that. Get a lot of points, get a lot of offers from uh, our break room. Yeah, so here's the signature club program. Thank you, Alex, for that reminder. Uh, and I always recommend uh, do always use one email because uh, you get a lot more of these promos. I get why the guys might create two because you might get some sort of 10% discount on your first order. Uh, but you also get all these other things at certain point statuses, right? I mean, uh, 7,500 points, $10 gift card. Uh, we get free mini helmets, free rep helmets, and then we get a free headliner package at 800,000 points. Yeah. Oh. So here's that link to that signature club. Make sure you guys are signed up, logged in and subscribe to everything. One spot to go. Tom Walsh is getting in. Craig, come uh -huh. on. Don't, don't be afraid of Jeff. Uh, Craig, sorry, I'm saying thank you late. Just received my bat. I won last week. Let's have some fun, gents. Happy 4th, everyone, says Damien. Agreed. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Uh, thank you, Damien. Uh, have a great 4th and jump right back in the breaks. Yeah, one to go in that vault double. And Don't be afraid. Come on, Craig. Man up, right? Just do it. Just do it. Nike, Craig. Nike. Just do it. Last spot. Closer magic. That's the way to beat Krakow, Craig. Those are magic. You know who's going to do it, William. Probably. Of course. Boom! Called it, baby! He's the closer. He's the closer. William McPherson closing it up. All right, here comes two headliners. Well, we know that. He says, I was buying four spots, then it went to one, right? Uh, you blink, and you miss out. All right, William. Two box numbers. What's it going to be? William or someone else in this break, drop me those two numbers. Oh, uh, we got Jeffrey. We got Pat. We got Andrew. We got Tom and we got William. Looks like Pat Rich with two and three. And William says, I got beat to it. OK. All right. Two and three coming up. Uh, those are coming off the ticker in the vault. Well, what were you going to call William out of curiosity, right? Pat Rich is in here for four reasons, right? He's obviously chasing manning and mahomes like all of us but there's also two niner lids in here right prime time and nick bosa too slow william says tom i was gonna call three and 12 okay well three is gonna be really good then because both guys want three uh so three should be fire i'm sure two will as well everything is fire in this series everything is absolute heat Six clicks. Good luck, guys. Five and six. Uh, all right. We got ourselves Pat Rich in the NFC North. Tom Walsh, the NFC South. Jeffrey Greco, the NFC East. Tom's got the NFC West looking for Bosa or Primetime. Pat Rich, the AFC North. William McPherson in the CJ Stroud spot, AFC South. Andrew Webb in the East. And Jeffrey Greco has got the Manning and the Mahomes spot oh, man. in the AFC West. Talk about a dream double up here, Jeffrey Greco. All right, box two coming up. Two out of 30. Is it Manning? Is it Mahomes here? I mean, we have C.J. Lamb in this series. We do. C.J. Stroud, Nick Bosa. There is so many big names left. And all the photo headliners in the vault, Alex, authentic helmets. That's right. Not a single photo headliner is a rep. This one isn't authentic. It isn't authentic. And it is a headliner. How about this? Tom Tom. Prime time. There Deion you go. Sanders. Uh, for all the accolades, uh, Alex, you know, uh, he's got a defensive player of the year, a bunch of Pro Bowls. Uh, he's second all time in return touchdowns. 
He's got the 50-plus interception club. Mm -hmm. His best season ever with the Niners. His one defensive player of the year with the Niners. Yep. He had three pick sixes that season. Sure did. Uh, I know Deron Bland is making that look like no accomplishment, but three pick sixes. Yeah. Uh, NFC West, great job, Tom Walsh. Deion Sanders. Nice hit, Tom, says Pat Rich. Nice indeed on the primetime lid. There we go. Tom, Tom. Uh, one of the Vikings for sure. It's the exact same helmet. Maybe Peterson. I know we had a running back theme, but it kind of got ruined now. Uh, so, yeah. That Revis lid does look sharp. I was going to say, by name, that's the next one gone. But that lid looks sharp. We have decisions to make, Alex, which is good problems to have. William says, I think a vault key is coming next. Okay. That's possible. Terrell says, Eric Green. What's up, Terrell? Uh, nice hit, Tom. Uh, Tom last night in the vault. Got a couple fillers, Alex. But he got a vault key. One spot, two wins, and a $300 gift card. Uh, his next vault break gets a Deion Sanders authentic. So not too shabby, Tom Walsh. Not too shabby, brother. All right, one more coming up. One more in the double box. Pat Rich says Bosa's next. All right, well, Tom hopes so. Box three of 30. Definitely an authentic, Alex. It feels heavy enough. Yeah. So this is likely a headliner. We have had some authentic fillers in here as well, but feels heavy. Feeling heavy. Is it time for Mahomes or Manning, perhaps? Oh, my God, Alex. How about the Crystal Peyton Manning? Oh. Look at this one shining brightly. This is crazy. That is insane. Look at how bright this thing is. Jeffrey Greco, Whoa. AFC West, Peyton Manning, baby. You've been Grecoed. You've been Grecoed. Holy cow. It's actually sparkling, Alex. Wow. I mean, I've never seen something pop like that oh, on there. Oh, my God. That's ridiculous. This is nuts right there. I mean, that just, that's a hit video by itself. It Seriously, this is like, wow. Wow, 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 Jeffrey. Uh, you're welcome, says Pat. Uh, one of the best quarterbacks ever. Uh, you know, most MVPs ever. Five of them, most passing touchdowns in a season. 55 in a Bronco Shh. uniform, by the way. Uh, we have Super Bowl 50. We have number 18, Fanatic certified. I mean, this is a top three quarterback ever. Yeah. On a top three helmet ever. It's ridiculous. This is, it's it's actually way better in person. It's a top five helmet. I in mean, break room ever. like, it's just like, what is going on? It's pretty heavy, right? It is heavy. You're right. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, that's why I was trying to buy four, but Tom beat me to it. Ah. Uh. Uh, so if anyone's interested in Dion, let me know, says Tom. Uh, wow. Wow, 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 Jeffrey. I know Jeffrey's usually a little bit quiet in the chat, but Jeffrey, what do you think about this one, brother? Uh, this might be his best helmet ever, and this man has a lot of helmets for our break room, right? Yeah. A lot of helmets. Peyton Manning. It's got, like, the shining is changing colors, Alex. It's just insane. It doesn't stop. It looks like Christmas lights almost. It really does. <laughs> Like, the, like, on screen, it does. Oh, my God. Yeah, way better than a Speed Flex. I'm sorry. Tom's got a Brady Michigan Speed Flex. Like yeah, he sent it to me. It's really cool. Uh, I actually think the crystals on this one look a little bit better than Tom's, in my opinion. Uh, but this is fantastic. Jeffrey Greco, Peyton Manning. Well, well, well. This is why you don't wait. Uh, this is why you don't wait. Uh, what a break. In the vault double box. Peyton Manning. I'm kind of in awe, Alex. Kind of in awe of this helmet. Does not get better than the Peyton Manning crystal lid. I thought that the, you know, Brady Rip Speed Flex I pulled yesterday was really good. This is even better. This is even better. 
Words can't describe this helmet. It, it, it's it's even better in person than on the stream, believe it or not. It's even shiner in person. I mean, look at this. Look at the shine on this thing. Wow. Matt, we want more of these. We more want more of these bad boys, Peyton Manning. Uh, we have one spot to go in the practice squad single, by the way, guys. Uh, that is coming up. And more vault. Uh, I know we pulled the Peyton Manning, but there's a Patrick Mahomes still in here. We're talking about a $2,000 plus dollar helmet. Mahomes salute to service. CJ Stroud, Nick Bosa, CD Lamb. They don't, you know, the helmets don't stop, Alex. The helmets do not stop. Uh, there is just so many big ones left. Um, I, I'm going to be honest. There's not one quite like this one, but there's so many other awesome names left. I don't know when we'll get another one like this, but I hope soon. I have no idea. That I mean, that thing is ridiculous. I don't even know where you get something like that. I'm going to take a picture of it just so I, I can say I was in the presence of this helmet, Alex. I'm going to send this to my girlfriend, see what she thinks. Yeah. Uh, so let's see here. It's just insane. Wow. Man, the picture doesn't do it justice, actually. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I think I think this is one that you got to see at your house. Uh, Jeffrey, whenever you get this lid, let us know what you think, man. Because uh, I know Tom has a Michigan Speed Flex Brady like that one. Tom, you could probably agree that it looks even cooler in person uh, than it does, you know, in the photo you sent me, right? Yeah. This thing is nuts. Did get a practice squad single filled up. All right, perfect. Practice squad single coming up. Uh, Tyler with the clothes looks like. Uh, busy, busy early show today. Busy, busy early show. Practice squad single coming up next. All right, go ahead and drop me a box number, guys. Uh, Tom is jealous. I, I'm jealous, too. Yeah, I'm jealous, too, man. Yep. Like, you, you know, Alex, we, we do like 500 boxes a week. Uh, you know, I host a lot of shows. I'm pulling, you know, 200 boxes a week. I've been doing this for three years now. I've seen thousands of helmets. I don't know if I've seen one like this one, though. It's top five. Yeah, it's it's definitely top five. Definitely top five. Maybe even top three. Yeah, Jeanette Lee with 12. What's up, Jeanette? Long time no see. Uh, good to have Jeanette back in the break room. Box 12 in the practice squad. Incredible. David Alberta, Joseph, Marcico, Jordan Roberts, Nick Jones, Jeanette Lee, and Jordan again, and Tyler Fitzhugh in here. Let's get these guys thrown in for our spots. Six clicks on the way. We're talking about practice squad next. And if you guys want to keep the show going, keep those orders going, we'll go to at least two o'clock no matter what. 13 more minutes. Uh, but if the brakes are not hot, uh, we might take a brief lunch break about 2 o'clock Central Time. We'll be right back at 3, though. Even if we do take a break, uh, we'll be back soon. So David Alberta's got the NFC North. Jordan Roberts, the NFC South. Jeanette Lee, you've got the NFC East. Nick Jones, the NFC West. Joseph has the AFC North. Tyler, AFC South. David, AFC East. And Jordan, you've got the AFC West. Let's see what we got in the next practice squad. What do we got? Andrew jumping in. Yeah, getting into the vault double. They're still at Mahomes. Let's go, Andrew. Let's go, Andrew. 12 out of 30 for Jeanette. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got box number mojo, Alex. It's our second primetime. Now, this time on a jersey, Ooh. Deion Sanders on the Cowboys this time. Uh, played for the Cowboys, the Niners, the Falcons, among other teams. Actually, we've had three different uh, Deion items the last two shows, Alex. Yeah. We had a Deion Washington yesterday, and now we have a that. Deion Niners. Now we got a Deion Cowboys, maybe the best corner ever. Uh, box number mojo for $46. Well worth the Jeanette Lee. Deion Sanders jersey. How about that? How about 
the heat here. Prime time. All right, Jeanette. Very nicely done. Box number mojo. All right, we'll put this one away. Both one and fours could be an option. They're both three away. All right, Giannis and Harry Potter. Who, whoever thought we'd have those guys in the same break. I know. That's the one and four for you. So, yeah, let me know, guys. 11 minutes here. Uh, we'll do the diamond wheel spin at 155, Alex. It is 149. Diamond wheel spin at 155. Unless we are full or like one or two spots away. Uh, diamond wheel spin. Uh, we do have eight names in there. What do you want for the jersey, says Michael, LOL, right? Now, Michael Tillis. Now, Michael... Michael should have went to the bank a little bit earlier, Alex. He but should have. There's a Mahomes still out there. This is true. Uh, so there's a lot, a lot, enough good stuff left. Uh, but this was an opportunity lost. I mean, and so you, you blink and something like this comes out in our break room, right? Incredible stuff. So I'll drop in the live break page link. 28 folks watching. Uh, get those spots, guys, if you want to keep the show going. Some of the best bet for breaks, I would say, I mean, I don't see why we shouldn't do the vault still. Uh, definitely have really good ratios. Probably should just close out that last jersey. It's Travis Etienne. Just get Travis that out of there. Travis Etienne, the last jersey. So Mahomes, CJ Stroud, CD Lamb, Nick Bosa, plenty of big names left. Uh, and then we have ourselves this practice squad. Yeah. Uh, I think just sold out, actually. It says sold out. Or is this just, I got to maybe refresh. Yeah, because that was the one we just did. Okay. Well, never mind. Not sold out. Eight spots to go. So Jordan Love, Monsters of the Midway, Saquon, Jamar Chase, Champ Bailey, Dan Marino, Ben Roethlisberger, Sauce Gardner. I mean, we're talking about quarterbacks. We pulled Brady twice yesterday. So we had two Bradys mm -hmm. yesterday. Finally, no Brady today. We just pulled Peyton Manning. Yep. We pulled Terry Bradshaw, Kurt Warner today. We still got Ben Roethlisberger, Dan Marino in a practice squad break, mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes and CJ Stroud in the vault break. We got plenty of awesome quarterbacks for you guys. Just come and get them here in the break room. And that one in four that you mentioned, three spots left, Alex. Uh, this one is uh, got the Daniel Ratcliffe, Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix, Autograph, and we got the Giannis jersey in here as well. Yep. Uh, with only eight boxes left. So, a lot of goodies in here as well. Come and get them. So, up to you guys what, wanna, what we want to do next. Uh, I guess, Alex, uh, we'll wait till the chase wheel spin for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we can kind of start having our discussion for head of the show. Well, we know number one. We know number one. I was going to say, number one is, is in the books. I actually kind of like the Revis for two. Revis? I was going to say Revis or the Rams triple for me. Don't see those very often. So That black just looks cool. Aesthetics, it's definitely the Revis. If we're talking about player names, you know, it gets difficult. I'm going to go with the Ram one. To be different, it is three autographs on one lid. I like that. Uh, Steven Jackson, Eric Dickerson, Marshall Falk. Because uh, I grew up watching Falk and Dickerson. Yes. I'll go two. Three, I'm going to go with the Revis. I'll go design. <sighs> I mean, I know that's a rep, but that Barry... I'm going to put Barry four. Barry four? I, I I like Barry Sanders. It's a rep. I don't care, Alex. It's a beautiful lid. Uh, that is my runner-up. I'll put Jetta's five. I'm only putting primetime six because I pulled three primetimes in the last, like, 12 hours. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but, I mean, all of these are awesome. We could easily have the Terry Bradshaw up here as well. Uh, there's a lot of options here in the break room. 100%. I'll go Manning, Revis, Rams triple, then Jettas, Barry, Dion. Okay. I'll just pretty, flip, flip two, three, and four, five. Yeah, pretty good list, man. Yeah. Pretty sick list here for top hits. And all of these, except for the, I guess the Barry's a rep, but yeah. all of them full-size helmets. <sighs> Bless you. Thank you, sir. I uh, can't be upset. About nothing, especially winning with one spot last night and today, right? Yeah. Uh, Jerry Rice speed flex in a single. Yeah. How for about that? Forty-five, How forty-six about dollars. That, that wasn't only bad here. either. Only here you can do that. Only here. Uh, you know, you might spend hundreds of dollars, but you can win some of these big names for 
less than 100 oh, yeah. in the Ultimate Autographs live break room. So wheel spin coming up in two minutes. And then we'll give you guys until 2 o'clock. If nothing else is full or one or two spots away, 2 o'clock will be it. We'll regroup, refresh for what should be a busy 3 p.m. show. Mm -hmm. I've noticed the 3 p.m. shows have been very, very busy lately. Oh, yeah. Extremely busy, uh, which is great. We do have an order coming in, Alex. Yeah, Jordan Roberts getting in the practice squad single. All right, Jordan. So, And I recommend getting the spots now as quickly as you can because best case scenario, we fold these up pretty quick before we go. Worst case scenario... You get the break closer for the 3 p.m. show. Exactly. We put that progress going, and that break happens very early in the show. And as we kind of witness this show, whenever there's a bunch of breaks early, it just builds and builds this awesome momentum, mm -hmm. which sets us up for uh, the rest of you know the show. Well, look at this Tyson yeah. use. Yeah, it's what he does. <laughs> and this is without Tyson playing. Jeffrey barely played. But, man, he played at the right time. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, a lot of heat. A lot of heat in the room. So I don't know if Steven's coming in or not. It may be you. It may be Steven at three. But it's going to be mm -hmm. it's gonna be a fire show regardless. Yeah. Uh, we'll probably see the Mahomes lid. We'll probably see the Big Ben. We'll probably see Marino, Jamar Chase. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these big names. Speaking of Chase, let's do the Chase wheel spin. Sounds good. 155. Chase wheel spin coming up. Uh, good luck, guys. And it's just the... Oh, we have these names at the bottom here. It's the one with Craig Crenshaw closing it, though, right? Yeah, all right, perfect. I don't know why there's a, a list here all the way at the bottom. But all right, so we got Kyle, uh, Ramel, Andrew, Joshua, and Craig in here. And bonus money coming up, a bonus gift card coming up. For one lucky customer here in our diamond wheel spin. Six clicks. Who's got the money? Oh, is it stuck on five? I thought I clicked six. Stuck on five. One more. Again, Craig Crenshaw. Who else? Craig Crenshaw. Let us know, Craig, what number you want to start on, sir. Otherwise, we will start you on one, Mr. Crenshaw. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'll pull up the wheel. We'll give Craig about 30 seconds to a minute here. And we'll see what he's going to get in a gift card. I think I can do better than nine. I think is what Colin got him. I, I believe, Alex. I believe I can do a little bit better than nine. But I guess we'll find out we'll see. here very soon. Does Craig have a lucky number? Are you feeling lucky, Craig? Mr. Crenshaw. All right, I'm going to start him on one, Alex. I know we said he just got off work. He's usually very active in the chat. Mm -hmm. If about a minute goes without Craig commenting, he must have went to get a sandwich or something, right? All right, Craig. Spinning that wheel. Big money. Medium level money, but it's money nonetheless. 30 bucks. There you go. $30 gift card headed your way, Craig Crenshaw. And while I give these guys a few more minutes here in case they want to get something closed up, uh, there's the rundown. Uh, there's your look at the break page. Six to go in the practice squad. This could be a pre-fill. I know it says six to go, but this, yeah. will, this will go quick. And the practice squad will go quick. Uh, I imagine that's going to be the hot break. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to, like, rip a couple vaults. If the Mahomes is lurking with about 15 boxes left, this will be a chase as well. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that's actually the best lid in the room currently. With that Manning lid coming off the board, mm -hmm. it's the most expensive lid. It's a salute to service. I mean, we got the 4th of July tomorrow. Yeah. Come and get the salute to service. Respect our country uh, and respect this Patrick Mahomes lid. It is glorious, Alex. So about to wrap up here the next minute or two. Uh, obviously, we both agree the best hit of the show is the Peyton Manning. Uh, as Alex called it, a top five helmet All in time. UA history. Yeah, uh, I can't disagree with that. I mean, I really got to like go through all the lids we've had. But this actually would belong in a high roller without even being a speed flex. Yeah, I would agree. That, yeah. That's how good this is, this Peyton Manning lid. 
What's up, Cody Neff? Uh, free Cody. What's going on, brother? Here's what's up. This insane Peyton Manning lid, Cody. Yep. Uh, one in our vault series. Uh, we are about to hop off here, Cody, here in a second. But if you want to chat more sports, we'll be right back uh, in the 3 p.m. hour. Yes. We do have Cody Neff's boy, uh, C.D. Lamb, available in the breaks. So, Alex, any final thoughts for the I main mean, show? I'm glad I got to see that Peyton Manning, one of the best helmets in UA history. Right. I mean, it's just insane. And, uh, I mean, the fire is going to continue with that Mahomes. Yes. It should be a, another busy show. Uh, Tom Walsh says, please gift Deion Sanders to Pat Rich. All right, done. Uh, so we'll make note of that. Pat Rich is taking home the prime time. I'm, I'm assuming it's a trait to be named later, uh, but we can do that. A big time Niner fan. So, Alex, that'll do it uh, for the early show. As always, thank you so much for co-hosting, producing, doing a great job as always. Thank you so much to the customers for mm -hmm. watching, for chatting, for buying. You guys make the show possible. You guys make the show special. Brief, brief lunch break, about an hour. We'll be right back in 60 minutes. Plenty more heat. Plenty of big quarterbacks left. Mahomes, Marino, Roethlisberger, all those names and more during the 3 p.m. hour. 12, 3, and 6 Central Time every single day right here at Ultimate Autographs. Have a great, great afternoon, and we'll see you guys back in one hour.